Let's talk about working with leads and lead records in Dynamics 365. Uh, the term lead can mean different things to different people, I get it, uh, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to think of a lead as a person or an organization that has expressed some level of interest in our goods and services, but we don't know enough about them to consider them a prospect. All right, let's get started. You're looking at a lead record in the Dynamics 365 Sales Hub. Let's look at five key objectives that the lead record helps us manage. Number one, collecting essential contact and company information. Two, lead source and status. Number three, qualifying questions. Number four, timeline. And number five, next best action. We have a lead here, his name is Adam Green, and as you can see on the left, we have what I call that essential contact and company information. Uh, the type of lead, his name, his title, phone number, email address, company name, and physical address. So we can also collect additional information on the industry, annual revenue, headcount, etc. That helps round out that basic information that we need to gather. Another key piece of data that we want to collect is the lead source. So if I'm a marketer, I want to know where are my marketing dollars working most effectively? Are they on trade shows? Is it the website? Referrals, etc. Uh, we've subcategorized these leads and moved Adam from cold to warm to hot, evidenced by the fact that we've transferred him to one of our best account executives. Her name is Veronica. Okay, let's not forget our real objective here is determining how far we can go or want to go with this lead, Adam Green. So in this case, is Adam and Acme Industries a good fit for what we do? Uh, the lead record collects that information to help us determine whether or not we're gonna pass this lead to an account executive. So let's see what we found out about Adam. Uh, turns out Acme Industries is an existing customer and Adam does have a purchasing time frame and a real budget. Uh, the purchase process is not committee, it's individual, and we already know who the decision maker is. Uh, these are all positive signs that point to us qualifying this lead and moving Adam to the next stage of our sales process. This middle section of the form is called the timeline. It's a timestamped list of activities that are relevant to this lead. So if we start at the beginning there was an email from Adam that kicked off this entire process which was followed by an email template sent from our system as well as the reassignment of the lead to Veronica and then Veronica's uh, subsequent follow-ups and so on uh, one of the nice features is you can actually see who's responsible for all these activities uh, via these little icons real simple to add new activities we just hit this button here and then we can add appointments, emails, phone calls, tasks, etc. So reinforcing next best action is done via something called a business process flow and it lives atop the lead and opportunity record. We've actually already used it. When we qualified Adam, we had to ask him a series of questions and those had to be answered before we could move him forward. And this concept moves uh, throughout the opportunity record as well. As you can see in the develop phase, uh, there are different items that have to be accomplished and in the proposed stage as well. It makes it really easy to reinforce, coach, or dictate a specific process based on your best practice. Okay, that covers some of the basic methods that we use to manage leads and lead records inside of Dynamics 365. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, take care.